Welcome back to another episode. Hopefully this season the Orlando Magic can actually have a good season. The past few haven't been good at all. Uh, we choked against the Cleveland Cavaliers uh, winnable series that we just didn't and then last season we choked away a playoff spot definitely wasn't great but and we've had we've had our troubles with free agency as well multiple issues but we finally have I think a playoff type uh, team we got Mudiay, Oladipo, Bishop, Vujicic, and Whitehead as our starting five which is kind of odd I don't know why he's Whitehead uh, doesn't really suit uh, his face or his head. He's not really white, but uh, yeah, definitely a good starting five. Now, the thing about Tristan, or not Tristan, Clay Thompson was he gave us a superstar. You know, right now we don't have anybody that can really lead the team. Whitehead might be that guy. I was actually anticipating it to be a, uh, a shooting guard or a point guard, but this guy, let me go to his uh, grades, A potential. So he could definitely become a 90 overall, 80 overall at the age of 20. Yeah, he's going to be an, an absolute beast. Um, one thing about this team, though, we don't have that guy to really carry the points. Now, if you go to, I, I was looking at this off a camera now. If you go to tendencies, we don't have anybody with a high shot tendency. Uh, Mudiay is actually 75. Oladipo, 62. Uh, Bishop 78, Vujicic 79, and Whitehead 70. Uh, Sabonis 69, McDermott 41, which is probably why he doesn't get too many points. Uh, Redick 60, Biombo 41. Uh, we don't have anybody in in the high. We don't have anybody in 80s. We don't have anybody who will shoot the ball no matter what. Now I don't want somebody like Kobe who who will shoot us out of the game, but we do need that type of shooter now. Oladipo, only th only 62 shot tendency, um, but he, I, I mean, points per game haven't been great recently. I'm hoping to get him back up there. I don't know. We had to get him, though. We had to get that starting shooting guard. He was the best available. In the past, he hasn't put up the greatest numbers. Um, yeah, hopefully we can get a lot more out of him. The thing, we don't have, we have off the bench. Okay, we got Sabonis. Uh, we got Biombo. If we need, we can put in Lopez. Uh, we don't have Looney or Spate, so we don't quite have the depth at center and power forward as we did. But we have the big men off the bench to come in. But we don't really have any guards. Now, Redick, he could put up some points. Last season, he had 12 points. Uh, pretty efficient, very efficient, actually, uh, with 25 minutes. He's getting 16 minutes, so I'm going to see how he does. Hopefully, he can put up some numbers. Um, I'm going to give McDermott and Redick both around the same amount of number, uh, minutes. And then Kay Felder, I'd like to get somebody better off the bench to come in for him. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let him try it out, though. I'm going to put him in for the first part of the season, and then I might make a trade. As of now, I really don't want to, though. I I'm good with the team we have. I just want to see how we do for the first couple weeks. Um, that should be it, though. I think that's all um, I wanted to look at. Uh, just an overview. Uh, Whitehead, you know, 35 minutes. Uh, big minutes. The bonus, obviously, that 79. We're going to have to get another guy coming off the bench, though. We're going to have to get a 78, 77 type guy if we want to make a deep playoff push because 74, 75, 74, 75 isn't going to be good enough. So we're going to make going to need to make a trade, pardon me, but I want to just simulate just to take a look at McDermott and Redick. If they can get good points off the bench, I'll go for maybe a point guard. If they don't get good points off the bench, I might combine them with a draft pick to get to get a, a bench player to get me some buckets. Now, coming up this season, we have the Thunder's first round pick. Next season, we have our pick and the Pelicans. The season after that, we have our pick and the Rockets. And the season after that, we have our pick and the Pelicans. So, six or seven first round picks in the next uh, four, four seasons. I had to count that, god damn it. Uh, seven picks in the, first, in the next four seasons. Not including second round picks. So, we're going to have an outstanding team um, in the future. I don't know how many episodes... I, uh, how, how much more I'm going to do of the series, I really don't, but, um, Della Dova for a first round pick, 
Oh, wow. Um, that could be interesting. Right now, he's not playing any minutes. Um, do they have a good... That's the next season. No, I'm not going to make that trade right now. No, we don't have great depth. And I, I want to keep Della Dova in case of injury. Uh, we don't have the best depth. So, yeah, I'm going to keep him. Uh, Mudier, day-to-day. -day. Uh, let me take... Yeah, I'm going to take him out. I don't want anybody to get injured. And speaking of Della Dova, uh, we can put him right in the starting lineup. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take Mudier out. At least for the beginning of the season, I am going to be uh, micromanaging the injuries. Once it comes playoff time, obviously they're going to be in no matter what. But uh, for right now, I, I, I want to keep everybody healthy. I don't want anybody getting re-injured. So I'm going to wait till he is completely healthy to put him back in the lineup. Global game plan. There we go. So 3-2. and two. Not bad, not bad. Let me let me do maybe one more week. Uh, Mute is fully healed. That is great. Let me put him right back. Put Delhi on the bench. Uh, yeah, let me give him a, his minutes, so, K Felder, it says we should put Delhi in anyways, um, what's K Felder done so far, 12 minutes per game, uh, holy, he's been a, he's been efficient, 5 assists, yeah, I'm gonna keep him in, okay, you know, I'll even up his minutes to 15, uh, should I, uh, you know, no, let me put him back down, let me put him down to 12, uh, just to give Mudier his minutes, but, yeah, and then I, I might put him up after I kind of see how the team's doing, so let me go two more games, I'm not going to go, I'm not going to simulate big chunks at a time. I want to make sure we have a winning record. I want to make another playoff spot. Another win. Perfect. Okay. And actually, um, let me show you one thing. Scouting, technically we're a rebuilding team. I don't know how. I think we should be a, what, what do we have? We have contending, buying. I think we should have a buying team. Yeah, I think we should have buying. But I don't know why we're a rebuilding team. I don't think we are. We do have a lot of draft picks, but, um, yeah. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 games played. Let me go to 10. Let me simulate the next two games. Uh, Delhi and... No, I'm not going to do a two-for-one deal. So bonus day-to-day. -day. Yeah, once again, I'm going to take him out. Uh, I'm going to put in Lopez. Because Lopez is an offensive-minded big man. So bonus is offensive-minded. So, yeah, let me put him in. Let me just put him down the rotation. I'll give him, like, 10 minutes. Uh, 17 minutes, though. We're going to have to give Biombo a lot of minutes here. You know, I'll give Bishop a few more minutes. Uh, what else should I do? Yeah, I guess I'll throw a few more Biombo. I'll give Felder a couple more minutes. Actually, yeah, I'll help Felder. I'll give him 21 minutes for the next uh, two games. I guess for the next game right now. Um, okay. Uh, scouting. We definitely are just going to go... Oh, wait. Um, oh, shit. Uh, go back. Uh, cancel. Change, yeah, pick prospects. I don't know what I was doing. Let me just go to here. Uh, we got two point guards, a shooting guard, a power forward. So we definitely have a couple guards coming up. Uh, so, uh, he's fully healed. Okay. Uh, leave the rotation as is. And we lose. Damn. I was hoping we could squeak out a win. We didn't get that. We're 5-5. Five and five. Uh, We have the 8th seed right now. So... We could, yeah, a bit of a win streak. Yeah, look at that. The Hawks, who are number one, two, two games ahead of us. So only 1.5 games back, 10 games in. I know it's not a big sample size, but I just want to check out what everyone's doing. Uh, Mudier, 15 points, 8 assists, uh, pretty much 9 assists. Uh, a few steals, 2.6 steals. Wow, I like that. Um, efficient from the field. His 3 point isn't efficient at all, though. What is his 3 point? 85? Um, okay. I think that might go up. I'm confident that could go up. Uh, Vujicic, what are you doing for me? 12 point, yeah. He's kind of fallen off a little bit. Um, he averaged the double-double for, uh, for a couple seasons. He's kind of fallen off. He went from 10.8 to 10.1 to 9.8 to 8.2. Um, we do have him at power forward now. That might impact it. Uh, I'm, I hope to see his stats have a little bit of an increase, though. Even his offensive rebounds went down. That might be why. Yeah, that's probably why. Um, his blocks and steals kind of went down. Efficiency's been up, though. Okay, I'll take that. Um, if we can just average a little bit under, even if it's close to a double-double out of him per night, I'll be happy. Oladipo, 12 points per game. Efficient from the field. Um, he's got a 7.5 assists per game. Not terribly happy with him, but we're not paying him too much money, so. 
16 mil, very affordable. Whitehead, um, 11, 8, uh, efficient, not too, it's his rookie season, I'm not gonna get, I'm not gonna go on him too badly. Bishop, 16 and 7, very efficient, holy shit, happy with you. Uh, so bonus, what do you got for me? 13 points, um, he's been efficient though. As long, yeah, as long as he can be an efficient 6th man and get me over 10 points a game as a 6th or 7th man, I'm happy. Uh, McDermott, 7 points, but efficient. Okay. Uh, Biombo, 4, 6, uh, definitely fell off from that season where he averaged 10 rebounds a game. He's still kind of efficient. He's fallen off for sure, um, but it is what it is. He had a lot of minutes before. His minutes are cut down a lot. Uh, Redick, 9 points, but he's efficient too. He's efficient too. Um, okay, Felder, what do you got? Five. He's been efficient. Uh, four assists, a steal. Not the best, but um, I'm not. Nobody's been a, a letdown so far. Uh, Biombo, I definitely want to decrease his minutes and give more to Redick and McDermott. They've both been pretty good. Uh, oh yeah, what do we got going on? Uh, yeah, the bonus. That's what we got. Uh, got to put the bonus back in the lineup. So what are we gonna do here? Yeah, Felder, I'm going to take you down. We're going to have to give the bonus uh, his minutes. Put him back in the rotation. McDermott, move him up. So, what do we got going on here? I definitely want Biombo to get around 13 minutes. Felder, he can have like 10. He doesn't need too many. But I want McDermott and Redick to have a good amount of minutes. Um, I don't know what to do here. Oladipo, it says he shouldn't have this many minutes. I guess I could put it down to like 26. 26 and maybe move these guys up to 21 minutes each a night. I'm gonna do that for now. Yeah, let me do that. Okay Let me simulate a little bit more. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going I want to see how the team does as is if the team can make a playoff spot right now without needing a trade That's preferable. So Bishop has been injured. It's a new injury one to two weeks Damn he's a he's a small forward um I can plug Mc, McDermott in for now. Yikes. I don't know how that's going to turn out, though. I don't know if McDermott's going to thrive off a lot of minutes, right? Uh, who do I need to put in? I guess I have to give Lopez a bit of minutes here. Um, I can de give Delhi a bit of minutes. And, you know, um, I'll increase his minutes. I'll give him 28 minutes a, a night. I'll increase Redick as well to 24. Hopefully the team can, can sustain... How it's doing. Uh, Redick has been in. Oh my. Wow. Okay, Redick's out four to six months. Damn it. That is a big injury. Um, yeah, Shumpert, I suppose, is going to go in off the bench now. We're going to have to give a lot of minutes. Oladipo, you need those minutes back. Uh, Mudiay, going to give you a lot of minutes. Vujicic, we're going to have to give the high overall guys a lot of minutes here. So there we go. I'll put Lopez and. Uh, Delhi down to seven each to give the bonus uh, 32. Oh, actually, no, I'll give the bonus 20, 20, uh, 20, 28, and then give a bit more to Biombo. He he can handle those minutes. He's proven in, he's proven to me in the past he can take on those types of minutes. Uh, who the hell is this guy? 21. Why would I trade for him? B no. What? I'm not doing that deal. Uh, we get a win, yeah. If we can continue to win with Redick and Sabonis, or not Sabonis, Bishop out, that would be a big sign. We are first in the in the conference. Holy! Now, I'm not going to read too much into it. Remember what happened last season. I'm not going to get too hyped about the team. Um, but I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised, motherfuckers. I definitely am not. When I saw that the team was a rebuilding team, I did not believe it for a second. I just didn't. I knew we were a better team than, than what it showed. Uh, I just knew we were. So uh, let me give Redick um, the resting position here. Let me take Delhi off. Um, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, wait. Oh yeah, Redick would take that 10th. So um, what do we want to do here? So yeah, obviously Bishop's going to get his minutes. Yeah, I give him like 28. Apparently him and Oladipo don't need a shit ton of minutes. Or the, the, they, they don't, uh, yeah, they don't need it. But I'd like for them to have high minutes anyways. I guess I could give some bonuses minutes. Give Biombo, Shumpert. Uh, McDermott, that's the guy. Yeah, McDermott, I knew I was missing somebody. Yeah, let me take Shumpert out. I, I thought somebody was looking off. So, yeah, we need to give McDermott a lot of minutes. I'm going to give him, I'm going to give him 24 minutes. 
Yeah, I'm gonna give him 24 minutes a night here. Uh, we don't have Dreddick. Hopefully McDermott can can can. can ah, why? What the fuck can continue to get me points? I don't know why I couldn't say that. Damn. Oh wow. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not here. Um, let me give him only like 16 minutes. Let me give Shumpert a good amount of minutes. If we continue to lose again, I'll take Shumpert out. Oh my. Why? What's going on here? We're back to being a 500 team? Oh my, what is going on here? Orlando, Shumpert, you're coming out of the lineup. Um, What do I need? Uh, Joseph, you're a, you're a good playmaker. Let me put you in the lineup. Uh, 13, I don't know. I'll try Joseph. Let me try and put Joseph in. Oladipo, oh no! Oladipo's out. Wow, we don't have a backup shooting guard. We might need to get a... We need to make a trade. We need to make a trade here. Wow. Uh, we, okay, we got to win, at least. I don't know if I want to risk it, though. Uh, what what kind of team do we got right now? Shumpert playing 20. He needs to play, like, 20. Yeah, bishop got to play a bunch. Same with Vujicic. Damn. Biombo. There we go. I'll try this lineup that I got right now. Uh... We don't have a lot of big men. Oh, we do, I think. Okay, we get a win. Can we get another win? That would be really nice. Again, I'd like to not make a trade. I'd like to keep my draft picks and continue building t for the future. Um, but if we... Yeah, look at this. If we can just continue winning, that would be amazing. The game froze for a second. There we go. Another win. Holy, okay. Apparently, I got a good uh, lineup. We, we lose. That's okay. Three straight wins and a loss. I'm not going to get mad. You have to lose sometimes. You're not going to go 82-0. Another loss. Okay. Um, come on. Come with a win. Oh, my God. Back to being 500. If Once we dip below 500, I'm going to make a trade. Uh, for Haywood, no decline. I don't want to be put in that position. I trust. Yeah. I trust the team. I'm going to continue simulating. There we go. Yeah, we just can't be consistent. There we go. <laughs> Look at that. We got four straight wins. Three straight losses. Three straight wins. Oh my god. Okay. I expect a loss. You know, we've been a streaky team. A couple wins. A couple losses. Damn, okay. Uh, there we go, yeah. Scout those prospects. Yeah, we get a loss. Can we come back, though, with a win? Oh my... L we just can't... We can't come... B there we go. We get a win. Okay. Can we start to... There we go. Let's kind of distance ourselves out of the pack here. Let's go on a bit of a run here. Again, I don't need a 10-game win streak. Just whenever you lose, come back with two wins. You know, that's all I'm asking. For. There we go. Yes, that's what I need. If you lose, come back with a win or two. Okay, we get a loss. Come back with two wins against the Thunder and against the Raptors. Uh, the Raptors are winnable. Yeah, both of these teams are very winnable. Sub-poor 500 teams. Uh, we can win against both of them quite easily, I feel. So let me scout all of these players here. I expect two wins here if we're gonna if we're gonna be a playoff team. We go, oh my God, back to 500, and back to being eighth. What the hell? Okay, okay, we need to make a trade for sure. Um, Oladipo, he's he's day to day actually. Okay, perfect. He's day to day. Redick is a few months though. Um, okay, let me try and get Oladipo back in the lineup. He should be coming back. Yeah, we come back with a win. What is this? Global game plan, a loss. Wow. Okay. This is very, very interesting. Let me go two more games here. Um, no. Oh, Dion Waiters. No, I don't need him back. No, thank you. Another win. Okay. Oladipo is fully healed. Perfect. Shumpert. How, what did you do for me? Uh, six? Yeah, he played pretty poorly. He was pretty bad. 19 minutes a game. Six, uh, and very unefficient. So... He didn't, I don't know what, I don't know who contributed to the wins, but, uh, he did it. He did it for sure. Yeah, oh, shit, Redick, yeah, let me put you back on the bench, buddy. So, take Joseph out, uh, give Redick, or give Oladipo his minutes. So, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Who's the 10th? Yeah, we need one more guy. I'd like to have one more. You know what? No, I'm gonna keep it at 9. I'm gonna keep it at 9. Um, let me give McDermott a few more minutes here. Yeah, I'm going to try and keep it at 9. Hopefully, we don't get another injury. Um, 
I don't want to act too desperately, but we are pretty close to falling out of a playoff spot. We have to continue to win, so I'm going to give the starting five all over 30 minutes. Going to try and keep the bench pretty pretty short. Uh, like I explained, we don't have the deepest bench as it is. So if we can kind of hold off on the bench, I'd, I'd appreciate that. Get me some wins. There we go. 20, 27 and 3. There we go. We're kind of distancing the win to loss ratio. Um, perfect. How long till the deadline? So, uh, February. Oh, we're only a week away. Okay, wow. I'm going to end it here. I'm going to end it here, I think. Uh, ah, five games can be huge. Five game. You know what? I'm going to end it here. Let me take a look at what everybody's doing. Mudie, everybody kind of increased in overall, which is great. So, Mudie, um, he's putting up 17 and 10. Wow, 10 assists per game? Look at look at how he's increased on our team. Holy crap, from 12 to 17, from 5 to 10? From 1.7 to 2.6? He is thriving. He is doing great. Almost a block per game, almost 5 rebounds per game. Uh, pretty efficient from the field. Wow, let me take a look at Denver's team. What kind of team did they have? Or do they have? Do they have a good team? The Nuggets, they got Jokic. Well, I don't know why he didn't do good on their team. They have Walker. Maybe he played backup. I'm not I don't know why, but he's doing great on our team. Uh, go to Vujicic. Uh, 13 and basically 9. Pretty efficient. Um, a block a game. I'm not going to get too mad at that. Not going to get too mad. We're paying him a lot of money, but... um. Yeah, I'm not going to get too mad. Whitehead, 12 and 10, basically. Pretty efficient. Rookie season, I'm happy. Bishop, uh, 15 and 8. Very efficient. I'm happy with you, my bud. And a block and a half per game. Oladipo, I'd like for you to average around 18 to 20 points per game, but you don't have a high shot tendency, so I guess I'm going to take what I can get. His assist went down a bit. Um, I don't want to flip him. I don't want to trade him away, but I, I don't know what I'm going to do. The bonus, um, yeah, you're, you're still good for me, bud. McDermott, how are you doing? He's dead, yeah. He's efficient, but he doesn't have a lot of shots per game. His free throw is, uh, yeah, look at how efficient he is. He just doesn't get points. I, I don't get it. How many shots does he take per game? Can I, can I take a look at that? Field goals per game, I need that. Field goals per game. Doesn't show me, hey? Damn. I'd, li I'd like to know that stat. I don't know where, I don't know. Oh, maybe. Um, double, triple, double. Yeah, nope, it doesn't show me. We need a shooter. We need a, we need a shooter off of the bench. Let me go to league leaders here. So, James Harden, Rab. Holy, he came out of nowhere. Uh, Paul George, Lillard, Russell, Fox. Okay, um, interesting. Do we have, yeah, uh, where's our guy? So, we got a 17.2 um, assists per game. We got 10.2, rebound 9, 9.5, uh, block and a half, and 2.6 steals. So looking at rebounds, nobody in the top 10, not even close. Yeah, assist, Yeah, we have the second highest assist guy, which is amazing. Uh, very happy to see that. Um, steals per game, we have the best assist guy. Wow, Mudiay is definitely doing his job. And 17 points, um, he's doing amazing. He's doing amazing, but... We need to have somebody to come off the bench. Um, let me just go down here until I find somebody. Um, Gabe Wagner. Um, on the Miami Heat, 20 points per game. Uh, very efficient. He's a power forward, though. I'd appreciate either a small forward, shooting guard, or a, or a point guard. I'd appreciate that. Um, let me just continue trying to find a bench guy who puts up a lot of points. Um, we got Gatson. What are you? You're another power forward. Interesting. I, well, Washburn, a point guard. 18 points a game. Pretty efficient. Uh, 24 years of age on the Brooklyn Nets. Okay. Let me take a look at your contract. 6 million. Okay. Um, I'm going to go to Brooklyn in, in a second. I just want to take a look. Is there anybody else? Seven. We're getting kind of... Um, Andre, another point guard. Another point guard. So the Atlanta... The Nets. I think that's who I'm going to check out. Um, and Hood, yeah, no, I'm looking for somebody cheap. So Atlanta for Android. And then the Nets for, for a Washburn. So a, a kind of odd names. Both of them have weird names. Let me go to both of them. Um, the Hawks. 
So they go out and so, okay, they actually could trade him. He he could he's very expendable right now. Uh, they have Schroeder. They could definitely trade him. Um, what's his stats looking like? He's a good shooter, not a defender. So yeah, he's purely offensive minded. Not a good rebounder and not a good defender, but a good playmaker and good shooter. What are his stats looking like? Uh, attributes: 91 shot close, 88 mid range. Oh wow, an 81 off the dribble and 82. That's interesting, and he's only 23. We could probably in, we could in, uh, improve his open shot three. That's interesting. Yeah, he might be a good option here. How much? Two and a half. That's a lot of value. Let me go to the Brooklyn uh, Nets here. Take a look at who they have. Did I just go past them? There we go. They have the Nets. Uh, Washburn. Same situation. They have um, Sanders. So, what kind of stats? So, basically, they could give up anybody here. They could give up either one. Um, so, Washburn, a bit of a, a, a little bit perimeter defense. Um, pretty even shooting. Uh, play, yeah, he's better rebounder, better physical. They're very similar. He's 24. Now, let me take a look at the standings. Take a look at what type of mood they're in. Uh, Atlanta, so... Are they out of it? We are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh, yeah, but they're 22 and 29. They're pretty negative. Um, they might look to trade them. And then Brooklyn. Okay, Brooklyn might be the better guy to trade for. But let me go to him. Let me go to Brooklyn, actually. I just want to check out his individual attributes. Um, he, look at that. Yeah, even him. Look at this off the dribble. 90. Um, I don't know. We got Washburn. And then we got Washburn, and we have uh, Andrade. I'm I'm leaning towards Andrade. Um, he, okay, let me take a look. 91 shot close, a good open mid range, and good off the dribble. Um, good shot IQ and good free throw. Um, good layup, and not really a dunk. And then let me go to the net. Let me take a look at Washburn. Good, good, uh, shot close, good, uh, mid range, a decent, um, a decent, uh, open mid range. That's about it. Decent, yeah, decent mid, uh, off the dribble three as well. Better free throw, but not as good shot IQ. And he, they are very similar, like almost identical. I don't, I don't know who I'm gonna get. Let me know your opinion in the comments, and I'll catch you in the next episode.